everyone, this is Zia Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So, let's get started. Problem. Solve d cube plus 4y into y equals to sin 2x. Okay. d cube plus 4d into y equals to sin 2x. So, firstly, let's find the order and degree of the given equation. Identify the highest derivative here. d cube is the highest derivative. So, our order will be 3. Since our order is 3, we will get 3 constants in the solution. And the highest power, highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Degree is 1. Or you can just write the given equation as d cube y plus 4 dy equals to sine 2 x. We know that differential operator d is d by dx and d square will be d square by dx square and d cube is d cube by dx cube, right? We can write d cube y as d cube y by dx cube plus 4 into dy as dy by dx equals to sine 2x. Now identify the highest derivative. Here d cube y by dx cube is the highest derivative, so our order will be 3. And the highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. Degree will be 1, right? We are given a differential equation, right? Given differential equation, which is an order differential operator form. d cube plus 4d into y equals to sine 2x which is in operator form f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d cube plus 4d and q equals to sine 2x now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Your y is a complementary function and yp is a particular integral. We will get the complementary function using the rules of the auxiliary equation or the homogeneous equation or the given non-homogeneous equation. Simply by taking RHS to 0 we will get f of t into y equals to 0 which is a homogeneous equation or the non-homogeneous equation, right? And we'll find yp using 1 by f of d into q. So firstly, we'll find complementary function using the auxiliary equation of the non-homogeneous equation. Sorry, of homogeneous equation. Okay, using the auxiliary equation of homogeneous equation, we are going to find the complementary function. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0, where f of m equals to, we are having f of d equals to d q plus 4d, right? So, let's replace d by m, that is the differential operator by m, then we'll get f of m equals to m square, sorry, m q plus 4m. Then our auxiliary equation becomes m q plus 4m equals to 0, right? This is a auxiliary equation. Now let's take m common from the two terms of LHS. We will get m times m square plus 4 equals to 0. Equate each factor to 0. Or find the factors of m square plus 4. We can write plus 4 as minus of minus 4, right? Then m square minus of, we can write minus 4 as minus 1 into 4. We know that i square equals to minus 1 and 2 square equals to 4. So, we can replace this minus 1 by i square and 4 by 2 square. Then we will get m square minus of replace minus 1 by i square and 4 by 2 square. Okay. We will get m square minus. You can write i square into 2 square as some 2i whole square. Now, this of a square minus b square, we can write it as a plus b into a minus b, which are the factors. Now, we can write 
the auxiliary equation as m into red m square plus 4 as m plus 2i into m minus 2i equals to 0. Now equate each factor to 0. m equals to 0, m plus 2i equals to 0, m minus 2i equals to 0, right? m equals to 0 is 1 root and from m plus 2i equals to 0, you'll get m equals to minus 2i. From m minus 2i equals to 0, you'll get m equals to 2i. So we'll get three roots, m equals to 0, minus 2i and plus 2i or simply m equals to 0 and plus or minus 2i. Right? Therefore, m equals to 0 plus or minus 2i are the roots of our auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation, right? Which are, we have one real and two complex roots, right? Real and complex. Complex roots or complex conjugate roots. Or in other words, one real root and two complex roots or two purely imaginary roots. write the complementary function using the two roots. We know that if a plus ib is a complex number then the conjugate to this will be a minus ib and if a minus ib will be is a complex number then a plus ib will be its conjugate. Right? If we get complex conjugate roots then the complementary solution will be e power ax into c1 cos dx plus c2 sin dx. In the case of a equals to 0, we are given plus ib. Then its conjugate will be minus ib. If you have minus ib, then its conjugate will be plus ib, right? And if you have 0 plus or minus ib roots, then in the case of a, you'll just write 0, then we'll get e power 0 into c1 cos dx plus c2 sin dx. Since e power 0 is 1, then you'll get 1 times c1 cos dx plus c2 sin dx, which means c1 cos dx plus c2 sin dx. Now let's write the complementary function to our problem. y is equals to, first we will write for the real root, one root, right? We have one root, so to this we'll get one constant into e power 0 into x plus, now we'll write for plus or minus 2i using this formula, right? So here we have plus or minus 2i, only the imaginary part. So we'll get one constant into cos 2x plus another constant into sine 2x. Therefore, y is equals to c1 e power, this becomes e power 0 into x is e power 0. We'll get y is equal to c1 e power 0 is 1. Then we'll get c1 into 1 is c1 plus c2 cos 2x plus c3 sin 2x. Now let's write particular integral. We 
We know that particular integral is given by y p equals to 1 by f of d into q. Then for f of d, we have d q plus 4 d into q sine 2 x. This is of 1 by f of d into sine a x form, right? For a equals to 2. Now we need to find d square which is given by minus a square. Then for a equals to 2, we'll get minus 2 square equals to minus 4. Now let's see what happens if we replace d square by minus 4 in the denominator. Now we can write this d cube as d square into d. Right? Then we'll get d square into d plus 4d into sine 2x. Right? Now let's replace d square by minus 4. If we replace d square by minus 4, we'll get the denominator 0. Okay, the denominator becomes 0 by replacing d square by minus 4. Let's see how. I'm just taking the f of d, which is in the denominator, and we'll write d cube as d square into d plus 4d. And now we'll see by replacing d square, we got minus 4d plus 4d, which is equal to 0. Then the total term becomes 1 by 0 into sine 2 x, right? See? If you replace d square by minus 4, you'll get minus 4d plus 4d into sine 2 x. Which is equal to 1 by minus 4d plus 4d is 0 into sine 2x. We know that 1 by 0 is undefined. So here we can't replace d squared by minus 4. So what we have to do? We'll just write 1x into 1 by find the derivative of f of d. If f of d equals to some d cube plus 4d, then f dash of d will be 3d square plus 4, right? Into sine 2x. Now, again d square appears in the denominator. So, what we have to do? We have to check what happens if we replace d square in the denominator. We must always remember that the denominator must be non-zero. Now replace d squared by minus 4. We will get minus because of 12 plus 4 equals to minus 8 which is non-zero. Right? Since we, get, we got non-zero by replacing d squared in the denominator. So we can dare to replace d squared by minus 4. In the denominator replace d square by minus 4 then yp becomes x into 1 by 3 into replace d square by minus 4 plus 4 into sine 2x which is equals to x into 1 by minus 12 plus 4 into sine 2x which is equal to x by or x into 1 by minus 12 plus 4 is minus 8 into sine 2x this becomes minus x by 8 into sine 2x or you can just write as minus of x by 8 into sine 2x Therefore, yp equals to minus of 1 by 8 into sine 2x. Now let's write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to yc we have c1 plus c2 cos 2x plus c3 sine 2x minus 1 by 8 into sine 2x. So we have three constants here. 1, 2, 3. Order 3. And also, since order is 3, so definitely we, I said, we'll go into get, we are going to get the three constants. So here we got three constants, as I said earlier. c1, c2, and c3. 
So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.